What's up everyone, this is Cybernut, and today I'm going to open up a uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! value box. Evidently it's a great value, as it says on the box itself. I think these are pretty cool, we've opened up I think a couple in the past, and uh, yeah, you actually get six booster packs from this. You get a pack of sleeves, which you can obviously see which ones, and those sleeves are pretty cool anyway, because they have Joey, Yugi, and Kaiba on them. As well as a like case topper size card of a Mecha Phantom Beast uh, Draco Sack as well, which... I think those are cool. I wish they'd make more of these in the future, too, because, uh, yeah, I missed it whenever, or, you know, they had, like, those structure deck boxes, value boxes, I guess is what they were called, too, where they would come out with the structure deck, you get a giant card, or, like, the main card and all that, too, and then some booster packs. I wish they would come out with those, because that would be really awesome. But, uh, anyway, thought it'd be fun to open up one of these, and, uh, let's see what we get. Hopefully we have some good luck. I don't remember, too, if you actually get the booster packs that they're showing there, or if it's, I think it's more random than that. But, either way, let's get to it. Also, if you guys want to help support the channel with all the things going on with YouTube and all that, too, be sure to become a channel member, if you want. It, I think it just says join or become a member or something like that next to the subscribe button. And, uh, yeah, I've added some new uh, things to that, and uh, I'm going to continue to add more stuff to that, too. So, if you guys have ideas on uh, different perks and emotes or whatever you would like to see let me know because just by joining either one of those you get like the the badges by your uh, username you're supporting the channel of course and you get like emotes and, and different things to use too and also another way you can help support the channel too is if you plan on using tcg player use my link down in the description or the code cybernight and uh yeah it helps support the channel i'm gonna kind of just rip this box because there is glue i forgot about that that is right we have the glue just like in the battle packs, yeah, <laughs> right there. Let go of this pack, dang it. There we go. I don't know why they have to glue it like that. Much easier, okay. <laughs> yeah, it, you gotta go with that glue, right? I absolutely hate that. I'm always afraid I'm gonna mess up a pack or something. So first off, we have our sleeves. You actually get 70 sleeves there, so pretty good pack for that reason. And I'll get to our giant card. I'll say if I remember right, you're just better off just ripping into this box. Makes it so much easier. There we go. Mega Fan of Beast Draco Sack. Yeah, just a giant card. It's really cool. Again, I'd love to collect more of these. I actually have a collection of uh, quite a few of these. So let me know if you guys like to see a video on that. I have, uh, they, I have pretty much, I think, all the ones they've made so far, at least. There's the back of it. And our booster packs. Make sure to get all of them because they're all just kind of jammed into like this little pocket on here. There we go. Okay. What did we get? And will we have some good luck? Let's see. Uh, Lord of the Tachyon Galaxy. Primal Origin. You guys know one of my favorites. Oh, there's glue with this one. There we go. Another Primal Origin. Uh, Cosmo Blazer. Uh, Number Hunters. And then also a Judgment of the Light. So, let's get to it. I don't guess it matters on order. I think the only thing we're guaranteed hollows with is um, Number Hunters. So, up. Uh, Okay. <laughs> thought it was the other way around. Anyway, let's get to it. Balan Boxer. We have a big well, and then... Do I? Yeah, we do get a hollow. Okay, cool. I saw an XC monster, so I was thinking, I think that's sometimes a hollow, uh, especially from Zexel packs. We have a number 105 Balan Boxer uh, Star Cestus. That's pretty cool. We actually got a, a number monster and even a Balan Boxer on that, so there we go. Not a bad way to start off the opening, either. Primal Origin. I guess we have a chance even for, like, ultimate rares and possibly ghost rares even with these, so maybe that'll happen. Ghost Trick Knight. Gimmick Puppet. Have a Mermaid Shark for a rare. Hey, one of the artifacts. Pretty cool now that we know we're actually getting an artifact Link Monster. Man, we're getting, like, Link monsters for everything, too. It seemed like Link Brains Pack uh, 3, which I don't know when we're going to see any of those monsters, by the way. You know, for TCG, you never know. We're still missing plenty from the other two. But, um, man, there's, like, a Link monster for everything, and I love it. It's so cool to see so many Link monsters. There's always more I could add to that list, but, man, they have quite a few in that new one, especially. Let's see. No penguin. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I like that one. Also, we have the Trap Tricks rare. Not bad at all either. Then, ah, oh, I thought we had a hollow for some reason. Ancient Gear Box. Oh, well. Now for Cosmo Blazer. 
been a little bit since I've opened up this set. Let's see. Eldry Monsters, Heroic Monsters, I guess I should say. Have uh, Brother of the Fire Fist Gorilla for a rare. Yeah, we do know we're getting a Heldry, well, um, at least one card for them, I guess. New support coming out. Oh yeah, Crimson Sunbird, by the way. I should mention that. <laughs> for the memes. Number Hunters. Again, this is the set that everything's holographic, so... It was an interesting set. Whoop, focus. There we go. We have Photon Lizard. Then number uh, 63. After that, Gash to the Dust Lord. Uh, Overlay Capture, and then... Oh, uh, we got... Oh, yeah, that's actually a pretty cool one. It is uh, Photon Alexandra Queen. That's pretty cool. So, yeah, this is, like, part of the Butter Spy archetype. You guys remember those are, like, Butterfly Warriors? They were pretty cool. I actually enjoyed using them there for a while. They've had some good support with them, too. They've worked with other things like Gokis and stuff. And, uh, yeah, I'd love to see something new for them, even, because they were actually really good back then. I remember using them for quite a while. I think it's, like, Blue Mountain Butter Spy, though, was, like, the... The really good one that Gokis were hunting for, and it was, like, actually pretty expensive there for a while. Anyway, though, last pack. All right, it is Judgment of the Light. What can we end with? Can we end with Olo? Let's see. Hit that like button. Share your energy with me. Let's try to end with something awesome. I hope we can. Yellow Dustin. I think that's kind of good to get. Let's see, we have Archina uh, Palabrith, then... Ah, unfortunately not. We did not end with the hollow on that. Did we get... Oh, okay, for a second that we got two of the same XC. But, uh, yeah, unfortunate on that, but we still at least got a hollow from one of her packs, and then also getting uh, one of the Butter Spies XCs. I think that's pretty good, you know, at least for, I guess, a value box. I ended up getting this for pretty cheap anyway, so, yeah. I hope you guys have enjoyed. As always, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and all that, too. Let me know if you guys would like to see a collection video, seeing, like, the case topper cards, I guess it's the technical term for them, because giant cards are more, you know, like, poster size. And, uh, and what other openings you would like to see, honestly, too. So, uh, and, of course, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day, and I will catch you guys later. See ya.